Good with the zoom? Yep, thanks. Okay, come wide. Okay. And then uh, if you reduce your grip force to four. Raj. Four, thank you. Okay, go ahead and uh, push zoom. Hold that, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So we. Ooh. Oh, sorry, it's the iris is blown out here. Huh? You are so little. Thanks. us little guy okay i'm just gonna pause in between the big rolls because that's not useful <laughs> yeah just the kids get that, that was perfect timing on the swells there wasn't yeah. it that practically <laughs> slid my chair sideways it's just like Ky kylie's gonna be doing work let's let's move <laughs> so let's yeah what are you saying i, I would rotate your jaws the, the other, other way. way yeah get the cutters there and then yeah okay mm. all right are you a bit far no, I, I just wanted to re-index and come in slowly. Yeah, I, oh, you're, I'm like rocking into it, Raj. Yeah, shoot that guy away, then you'll have a lot of space. Get out of here, buddy. I right, should just start with opening the jaws. Yep. Okay, do you mind zooming on bubble for me? Just slightly. Wait, that's good. I have to get in far enough for the cutters to cut, yeah? I think I yeah. am s slightly far away. Are you going to come away, please? i just put this. How about, <coughs> Val, you were talking about this one before down here, actually. This one has a lot more bits. Yeah, to that might cut. be. Correct. That left side looks like it's Yeah, even. like ripe for it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just going to be just a lot easier logistically. Yeah, I totally agree. Okay, good. Um, you know, science ashore, it did look like that was more bendy than uh, rigid when she touched it. Man, the swells are the getting... Delta a little bit there. Yeah. Let's try that out. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit down, but might get you. Video zoom. Okay, very good. Nice. Top pairs. Two pair. Jeez. I'm gonna push in a little bit on bubble here. Thank for you. you. Bigger boy. Nice. Come all the way there, please. Good job. That's good. That would look at it in the, light, in the, in the out forward lights there. In the what? And look at it in the lights out there. Oh, Raj. That one, that one seemed more rigid. Go ahead and push on in a bit, please. If it's easier to just throw that um, on top of a rock, we can do that too. Yeah, yeah that's going to clog it. It's pretty big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Where do you want to guys want to throw this? Um, let's okay, come on. It. Uh, let's see if A or B seem to have enough room in them. Okay. Roger. In a second. <laughs> if it's if it's easier to 
would your F have some space to throw it in, or do you want to? Yeah, let's see what we're working with size-wise over there. Yeah, okay. And then reiterating, there's nothing floaty in sample. Nothing floaty, no. Roger. Gonna come out in the sample salvo now. Roger. That's a new one. So E is huge, so not that. <laughs> oh my god, that's um, so big. Why don't we throw that on A? A, Roger. Alpha. Hey, Rhett, you want to push in on Atalanta a little bit there? Sure. That should be good. Maybe we'll pull out a little bit. Yeah. Sorry. Uh -huh. All good. Jesus. Go ahead and halt it. Yeah, Raj. All right. Yep. Looks like part of it's in there already. <laughs> so go ahead and rotate your jaws the other way. I'm having like a, I want to come down with the wrist, but up with the elbow because I keep hitting my wrist on the thing, you know? Yep. So I'm just kind of like, <laughs> these rolls. Yep. Okay, Take Raj. your time. No rush. An index as needed. Okay. So like, am I already too elbowed up, you no. know? You can elbow up a lot more. No, I, right, but then I wrist okay. down. Like that? Yep, that's looking good. Okay, just keep doing that? Yep, keep Raj. doing that. Okay, that looks good. Didn't find your wrist there. Then stuff your hand in the bucket. <laughs> Raj. Nice. And we know that these are sinky. That's looking great. You can go ahead and open there. Yeah. We have a little visitor awesome. passing in the window. All right. Mm. Yeah, weird cone looks, shape. Looks yeah. great. Okay, good. Yep. Get out. And is, then this, is this still in my hand? Nope, you're good. Nicely done. And go ahead and index it there, because you might have force on the on the dividers there. Oh, uh, Raj. Okay. Nice. Sorry. Nice. No, that's great. Good job. Nice. Excellent. Thanks. Also, I'm happy this is not a floaty sample, too. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, for is sure. Is that sticking up a bit? Maybe. Yeah. It'll probably just kick in. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it's clearing the top. Yeah, it'll be good. Cool. Awesome. We are having a science chat about how difficult it is to tell the difference between two species. One has, a, as we've been saying, a little bit more of a bendy nature to it, and the other awesome. one is very rigid, like the one we just sampled. Yep. But based off the... Uh, We had a question yeah, a while back. I think it's just because there's a rock hitting in the way. So, it, yeah, it's like either coming in from the sides or like come this way, you know. But I think either way it, it worked out. Yeah. The first uh, smaller coral that okay. Kylie was trying to get, when she brushed it, it actually just kind of bent and snapped right back into place. Yeah. So potentially two species side by side, two different species. Nice sample. Your Wait. second coral. Two eight zero. Two eight zero. Two eight zero, Raj. Bridge this is now. Next step bearing two eight zero thirty meters. Yes. I think the you guys think those are some very kind of big chrysogorgia, those bushier chrysogorgia over here? Uh, I don't know. Um, or are those? Yeah, that's hard to tell. 
Let's go have it, have it look. Okie dokie. Oh, good. It's in the direction we need to go. Yeah, yeah. totally. Or watch them be just huge basket stars. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that for a second, but I don't think they are. No, they don't look quite as chaotic. And there are some awesome Aritagorgia, of course. There are. They just are. Yeah. Oh, no. What is that? I don't... I think it's something different. Yeah. I thought it had more bushiness okay. to it. A little it. more uh, flat. Can push on in there, please? Oh. There is a basket Weird. star on one of them. Oh. Wow. There is a basket star, right. But what is the coral? Is that... S no, it's not Swiftia. It's um, a weird like a coral, time. I think. Go ahead and push on it. Is that please. close enough for Asako us? Asako and Steve. Chris does, isn't sure what it is right now. Oh, sorry. You oh, my gosh. It's the good. Oh, is that Lilipathies behind it? That's a black coral I don't think we've seen ah, before. Ah, Swiftia, Asako says. It is Swiftia, huh? huh. It looks really yeah. thin and leggy. Yeah. Can partial it's the again, back. That's Lila, were you Lilipathies saying that other thing is a black coral? Oh, yeah. maybe. Black coral here. It is a so black coral, but I don't know which one. It has these, like, shorter, branchier uh, in there, Dr. Horowitz would like a zoom on the black coral, if possible. Sure. And you're already doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm bouncy there for you there, right? It's okay. Change my Z bias. Excuse good. our video for Come a second. again, please. Ugh. Yeah, we just need to make an adjustment, and then we'll try that again. We have some kudos coming in for getting the uh, coral in the uh, starboard box. Woohoo! Woo! Thank you, team effort. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, that's right. You were saying. Okay, go ahead and push on in there again, please. Delay on the oh. focus. And you can see now that the at least the one Whoa. in the back, the pink one, had some yellow polyps like Swiftia. Is that good for you guys there? I think so. We're going to see what folks think. Parantopathies, maybe? Um, uh -huh. Is more zoom possible? Oh, let me get back in position then. So stand by. This All right, go ahead and tighten right there, please. Yeah, it's uh, not that's helping. That's actually as far as I can go. That's full zoom there, Leela. Okay. Just so our audience can Thank appreciate you. how hard full it is. Wide. Not only are they dealing with the conditions at, at depth where we where the ROV is, but... Do you guys want another tight zoom? I can get myself a bit set up there, right. um, if possible. I think they would like it, yeah. But we're also rolling pretty good here in the control center. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the control it's a little, little windy here today. The ship. Yeah. All right, go ahead and push in real quick there. Oh, that's a nice zoom. Oh. Actually, might be out of our focus range. Yeah, it looks a little tight to go all the way. Okay. We're doing the best we can here. Sorry, guys. What's yeah, the weather doing? It's got that very fine feathery look. How common is that? With, uh, I don't know if we've seen that in uh, the previous black corals that we've uh, no, come across. No, we haven't as much. So this is it something like they're almost little feathers coming off of the individual yeah. spikes. Looks like very fine um, polyps. Or is that the right term? I don't even know from black coral. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know at all. All right, I'm gonna have to head well, out. Well, people are typing okay. away, so we'll see what they say. All right, we have to get moving again. All so right. thank uh, you. Boy, yeah, thanks for the zooms. Okay, for a uh, gauge check. Yes, sure. Okay. okay, I thought so, Asako. Um, Keep yeah. moving. Bridge, yeah. this is now another step. St same move. Okay, uh, Jeremy's calling them pinules. Pinules. Yeah. I think we call them pinules on other corals too. Okay. Trisopathies, question mark. Sea star. So we had a question a while back from our audience. Uh, are we a coffee person or a tea person? Coffee. 
Coffee. Go ahead and push on in again there. Coffee. Please. I'm 100 percent tea. <laughs> I am no caffeine. You know what's strange for me is I take great delight in having my morning cup of coffee on land, but at sea it's wow. been tea. Oh, indeed. I haven't even craved coffee. So there is decaffeined coffee. Is there any decaffeine tea? Yeah, yeah herbal teas. Okay. There are some pretty good decaffeinated green teas out there too. I'll, I'll like I like those in the evening sometimes. Soul and dairy. Where they've removed the caffeine. Yeah, I read that to decaffeinate the tea, all they do is like run it through water and <laughs> sort of yeah. make, make tea with it once already. Yeah. And the caffeine comes out as one of the first like dissolved ingredients. So it's cool. Oh, with the tea? I feel like with there the are a bunch of teas that are just there, herbal. There's some, there's some yeah. herbal teas too, but like if you get like decaffeinated oh, black tea, right, that's right. what they do. Yeah, that makes sense. I think you're right. You know, the darker the roast of uh, coffee, the less caffeine it has. Yep. That's it burns off as you roast it. Hmm. I I used to be a barista. Barista. Yeah. Do you have any other uh, secrets to the here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, totally. Many different kinds of coffee places, yeah. Yeah, it was a problem for my my caffeine levels. <laughs> All that. Sometimes I like the dark roast, partially because the richness, partly it's an excuse to drink more because you get more mm -hmm. caffeine eventually. Yeah, uh, but sometimes you just need the power of a light roast. The morning blend. Oh, are we yep. seeing a little bit of that stolonifera on the rock? Or what is that? Maybe not. I don't know. I think I saw some of the stolen. Oh, you're looking at the yellow? Yeah, I think I'm reaching. <laughs> oh, maybe at the top. And these big yellow coral, I don't know if these are more of the plexorids or if those are Canthogorgia. Is it, hey, you guys want to zoom on? Um, I think they're two different things, but I can't tell. Maybe, maybe on one the of the yellow ones things? up to the left. Yeah, the they do look coral. different, huh? These are a little I can't thicker. Tell if it's just the polyps are out, but yeah, it does look thicker too, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. How about we take a zoom on one of these two? Sure. I have so much to learn on these different yellow-colored corals. Oh, yeah, me push too. Their partial, please. Like everything. Let me get a better angle for you guys here. Maybe, like, like you said, it is a bit of the polyps out and the polyps closed up, though. Yeah. Because we see the thing also maybe two species. Yeah, because we got two different yellows here and here. This one has its polyps out, and this one doesn't appear to. Yeah. Look how bump. Oh yeah, I guess because they're closed up. Right. So bumpy. Yeah, this should be a better angle for you guys to see what's going on. Yeah. It's a solid gold coral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, what is this? Go ahead and push on in there a bit more, please. She's saying the left one is plexorid for sure. A little bit white. So maybe all plexorids. Maybe. Yeah, they're a lot less uh, chunky now that we're closer to them. The upper two are the same, also plexorid, you mean? All right, is that enough for you guys there? Do you guys want any more zooms on anything? Uh, uh, I think that's good. Think we're good. All right, yeah, let's get moving that. again. Uh, yeah. We apologize, Asako, if the yeah. delay means you needed more. <laughs> Praise, this is now another move. Same step, please. As we get a little bit higher, I'm going to look out for a uh, piece of pillow basalt. Um, I'm not seeing anything that I really want just yet. So we'll keep going for a little while. Roger. But I'll try to let you know as soon as Legal, I can if I see something. more black coral down here. Yeah, that's yeah. more black coral and more dead sponges. Oh, thanks, Jess. The There's a lot going on here. So oh, yeah, wow. seriously. Go ahead. Are those Sorry, hydroids? I think so. Go ahead and do a partial zoom as we fly by. I think those are that's some good. of the biggest hydroids I've ever seen. Can I come? Oh, that's good. So much diversity in that one little spot. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's so cool. The slow pan. I feel like the crustaceans are getting a lot bigger up here, too. Chris saying that we've got the Swiftia is the yeah, core on the left, left there. Both of them. Okay. Oh, and then a little bit on the right, too. What squat lobsters? I think I'm getting a little bit better recognizing that now. 
All right, so these are crinoids, right? No, those are not crinoids. Those are, again, I apparently can't tell the difference between the Brazingids and the Zoroaster, but it's one of those. Okay. So it, it, they're a little less curled, you said? Um, here, I'll show you some pictures of... You see the, the pattern of um, corals and uh, maybe a big sponge in Atalanta? Yeah. I'll Along that look. interesting little uh, curve wave pattern? Yeah, let's look at that. Yeah, let's go take a look at that. Looks like a lot's going on up there. See it? So, so you see, like, so these are the crinoids. Oh, and they that's almost it. have, like, bottom feet, like, and they usually, it's, we're they're getting, very, very thin, you know, okay. the arms. We're getting more of those nice, dense boulder communities. Oh, okay, that's, that's what I need to be looking for. upward a bit more, like. Got it. Like a, really like a flower, you know. Okay. Cool, I was hoping we get to see some of this. Yeah, we saw yeah. this at a much earlier watch. Beautiful. A lot more okay, yellow. Okay, and those were Brazingids. Yeah, Good I can't believe how big they're getting, but I know. that's good. I have no so idea that, how big they can get. Hey, is that a sea spider? Okay. Yeah, yeah Picnagonid. <laughs> yeah, that does give me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. <laughs> and compartion wide. That, that is a amazing Yeah. Mix. Oh, Whoa. hi, fishy. Oh. Hello. So we have a lighter colored yellowish coral, too. Yeah, that one's a lot lighter. Can yeah. I don't know. Beautiful flying. Boom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back for Slapped more. in the face. Some photo bombing going on yeah. here. Yeah. It kind of looked like a halosaur. Those guys just keep doing cameos. That oh, and then we've got the giant wow. sponge with giant basket stars. That's awesome. A nice spot in Atalanta. Oh. oh. Huh. Well, that is silly. Oh my gosh. Wait. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Oh, buddy. Dinner. Buddy, pal. Tasty. <laughs> Go ahead and push on in a bit here, actually. I've never seen this. I've never seen a fish get stuck. Wow, that's huge, <laughs> oh. Ray. Oh. 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 Nice. oh. 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 We were just about to watch a really uh, dramatic <laughs> yeah. movie here. <laughs> oh my gosh. There was that little fish on a basket star yes. like about last week. Yeah. On basket but star, I'm like, I don't like know that. to do this. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> That's uh, a big, was this, this whole ridge. Speck. Fish uh, on a basket star. Why does that sound like a ska song? <laughs> there of Is that what it's called? Well, you're the trombone player. Maybe it needs to be one. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. A few years out of practice at this point. Leave it. Pick it back up. It's just the like one a ska that band. Chris told us earlier. Was it sclerothamnus oh, or something thamnus? I can look it up again. The white, that white oh, frillier yeah. one? Rat, ouch. Sclerothamnus, yes. <laughs> sclerothamnus. <laughs> this is a gorgeous coral. All right, I'll mosey a bit faster here, the right. little behind. Okay, Look, looks no like problem. we lost the sponge down there. Oops, come back. There we go. <laughs> and we've been seeing a lot more of these um, kind of bare iridogorgia skeletons. Yeah, this area is so fascinating. Watch. There is there is a lot going on here. Yeah. This would, so if we have time for a flying EDNA, I think this would be a good area. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to push ahead that's, of here. That's though, fine. First. Go ahead first. Yeah. We have a cliff insight. Slope in my sonar. Uh, coral Slope distribution just sonar. changed. A lot more red gorgia suddenly. Uh-oh. Oh, and some bamboo whips. Oh, hey. We haven't seen these in a long time. I think we've been... Uh, Waiting for those all day? Is that what I'm hearing from the biology? I think the earlier folks? watch, looking back, it seems like they had some, or at least they were noting some, but I okay. haven't seen any. Okay. Gotcha. As Asako has to head out soon, so Present she good. needs something spectacular. <laughs> Ready, Gorgia. Oh, me, Corellium. I can't remember anything. Um, 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 we were seeing a bunch of those. I don't see any Seems right like that's now. What are those out Swiftia, yeah. the pink ones. Pink ones are what? Swiftia. Oh, Because they're, they're the ones that are pink with the yellow polyps. Yeah. Oh, are they yellowy? Raj, I cannot decipher my eyeballs. What are the yellow ones? Plexorids is what we landed on. Okay. Is the purple Victor Gorgia, even if it's lighter purple? 
one I'm going with, but I don't know it well enough. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it, too, then. <laughs> Unless you tell me otherwise, I'm going with it. <laughs> ah, Steve is saying that further south in the Phoenix Islands, he's also noticed uh, depth differentiations of Swiftias. Uh, okay. He thinks he's seeing something similar here. <laughs> he said the unbranched Swiftia could be a different species, and that the branching pattern helps differentiate the species, but we also need genetics. Whoa, this is an interesting area. Yeah. It really is. Whoa. So we'll just, uh, we'll get a little bit further ahead and then we can take an eDNA sample if great. you guys are still interested in yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be great. Ooh. Sounds good. This looks like a great spot for that. Yeah, let's hold here. Whoa. Please. Look how tall that okay, already is. We wanted to complete the move, so we are holding. Raj, we're thick with corals here. I haven't seen a sponge in a while, I don't think. There's, Have you? There's been some around. There, I saw a couple dead on the ground, too. Yeah. But not, not a ton. So yeah. we saw a couple of those big ones, and then I didn't really note too much that was alive after that for a little while. These stalks look different. I don't think these are... Over there. Bamboo. All these white... Yeah, there's a lot of the ground. Or maybe they are, but they look different. It did look like there were a lot of spongy type dead stalks on the ground. Rocks look Another a little different board, here. Yeah. We're looking at super low oxygen levels here too. 4.03% saturation and uh, under 17. That's wild. Uh, and yet, like this is why here. Beth is interested in rocks from up here. Yeah. Yeah. That is wild. Oh, fishy. <laughs> Leila, do you want, oh, we are pretty in a good spot now, but do you guys one yeah. from this site, or do you want to see if there's a higher coral abundance? Um, this is fine. We're pretty much in it still. Yeah, there's also, it looks like more corals up there if you want. Yeah, sure, we can go right over there. Okay. I think the odds that we're getting the DNA of what we're directly in front of are lower anyway, but roger that. Looks like we're seeing much more marine snow and a little bit more uh, murk in the water, too. Yeah, that, it does that blue look tin. easier here. Oh, we can, maybe it's the iris, do you want, Rhett, are you, how's your iris? Um, it's pretty low, there's more in the water column. Reg. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a higher density of marine snow. Here you can see the range, I'll turn full it wide down there? and up, I think a full wide. Gotcha. Yep, oh. I, uh, oh, hang on, it's moving slowly. Well, that, that's me creeping back the pan and tilt. Oh, I see. Um, well, it also isn't isn't uh, responding very quickly because I'm I should be on the have the edges by now but yeah she's like a snail's pace right now Raj <laughs> good okay oh yeah okay I was like man the pan and tail is really slow right now Okay. Roger that. Green, right? Uh, uh, number three. Number blue. Or sorry. Yeah. Yes. I mean three. blue. Oh God. Words. Um. All right, Leila. I'll get you guys. With the Niskins right over these corals here. Great. Thanks. All right, Kylie. I'm on a good spot for you. Good. Yeah. Watch. Popped it. Popped. Well played. All right. Sweet. Thank you. Great. Pretty crinoid there, probably. Mm hmm. Purpley. Um, okay. We're reporting some choppy video again. I'm gonna have to look up that sponge because it's not doesn't have those All longer right. spicules. We're uh, we're clear for another move there. So one. Bridge. This is nav. Two eight zero thirty meters, please. 
There's a lot more alteration on this rock as well, huh? Yeah, I'm seeing quite a bit of that. Might be might be some hyaloclastite again. You want us to zoom on the rock? Uh, yes, please. All right. Go ahead and push it in there, please. Oh, we right. coral. Yeah, that does look like hyaloclastite again. So, yeah, not, not the best sample site here for uh, uh, the mantle sourcing folks. Yeah, that looks good. Thank you. Yeah, sure, right. Full wide, please. Potato rocks. Or what? Ostrich eggs rock? Uh, ostrich egg rocks. Ostrich I can say that. Yeah, that's what uh, Chris was suggesting. A little more panache. <laughs> so Val, what made these rocks different uh, from the other ones we were seeing? So what we're seeing um, under the manganese crust uh, on these rocks is that kind of uh, yellowish to kind of kind of like tan brown hue. Um, and uh, that's, that's a sign that these rocks have been uh, highly altered. And uh, when I when I cut these open um, down on the main deck, uh, you can see that they're just little torn up pieces of lava that have been uh, really highly altered, and uh, they're kind of very soft rocks too. And um, that's uh, uh, what we call a hyaloclastite. Um, it's a volcano sedimentary rock with uh, pieces of lava been uh, erupted out. Um, just torn up in a, in a very energetic environment and then uh, deposited like a sedimentary rock and then sort of fused or cemented back together. Yeah, so I've been tentatively thinking that this this tells us that we're, uh, we're pretty close to a uh, volcanic vent of some sort that was once active on this volcano. We've seen, we've seen this on a number of the volcanoes that we've dived on and uh, we've uh, brought a few of those samples up to the lab. So it's pretty interesting, but um, there's enough alteration uh, on these rocks that it can make it uh, really hard to do some of the uh, uh, some of the geochemical work that we're interested in, which we will tell us about where these volcanoes came from in the mantle. Chance to take a look at that crab. Wow. Yeah. yeah, let's take a look at that crab. Big guy. And that other fish was a halosaur, Aldovandria. Cool according spot. to Christopher Kelly. Alteration is really apparent here now. It yeah. is. So yeah, you have that really thin uh, manganese uh, coat on this outcrop that we're looking at. So right, we can push on in there, please. We, we get a really clear picture of just kind of. Oh, that's a lit that did. How altered and how cooked this rock has been. It's it's seen a lot. Is that parallel? We got a cooked rock. All right, can I come a little wide? And a crab side. <laughs> Sometimes, though, um, hyaloclastites do have these really big, like, beautiful, Lithides. fresh clinopyroxenes in Lithides them, Lithides so sometimes we can use those. So sometimes uh, uh, sometimes we do get good geological information out of them, too, So, um, but you just never know exactly what you're going to get. Do you want me to go full wide? Oh, yes, please. So yeah. we had another intro question from the audience. Roger. What was your first job? And if you weren't working on Nautilus, what would you be doing? Was our first job? First yeah. job in, in. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks, Red. Hmm. First job. So are we looking at a ton of Swiftia right now? I think so, yeah. Now we're getting the current coming from the north, it looks like, as well. Is it very strong? Yeah, it looks like. It, it's pushing, but it's not like a ripping ribbon, you know what I mean? Gotcha. You can follow the fish, and then the fish will show you. What is this right here? Is that another fish, and it's just looking? Oh, yeah, it's just another. Yeah. It's a halosaur. Okay. Who wants so. to start with the first job? Yeah, I can start. Uh, Bridge, this is not the same uh, step, please. My first job was... Uh, uh, working as a cashier at um, a corporate grocery store in my hometown uh, in the summers uh, when I was uh, back home from college. Um, oh, and then I think there was, if you weren't here... Oh, oh, right. There was a part two to that question. What was the part two? Uh, if you weren't uh, on Nautilus right now, what would you be doing? Um, 
I weren't on Nautilus right now, I would be uh, chunking away at uh, processing samples in uh, the uh, isotope clean room that we have uh, back at University of Maryland. Spend a lot of time in there. Probably working on papers too, which is something I should be doing more of here. There's a nice wall area. Yeah. And actually one up on the left too, Double. upper left. Um, my first job, I like got the papers to be allowed to work that you had to get your school to sign like the day you turned 16. I did that um, and I worked in retail um, in Times Square actually was the first retail job that I had and it was really busy. And if I wasn't here, I would also be in the lab uh, or in my office, probably working on some figures for uh, my thesis and paper that I'll be writing on deep sea fungi. So far, both of us probably should be writing, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, one of the unspoken things about science, <laughs> you should be writing. The current actually really picked up now. Yeah. A, B, W. So has the writing. density. Lots of aridogorgia. Wowie, wowie. Hey. There's some pretty big yeah, fans good. still. I thought, thought we were getting smaller again, but that one to the left, upper left, is pretty big. Mm. What was your first job, Justin? Yeah, I was just trying to remember. I did a lot of landscaping. But I think my first official job was yeah somewhere around 16 and I or 15 something and I uh, worked at a submarine sandwich shop in downtown and I was I got to do delivery so I'd go to all the big office buildings and learn my way around my my hometown and uh, if I wasn't here I would be uh, helping get Moku Papa Discovery Center in Hilo Hawaii all. Uh, cleaned up and restored because we're trying to reopen mm -hmm. hopefully by uh, late May I think early June is our current current aim fingers crossed yeah that and helping to plan this teacher workshop across uh, for climate change across three different uh, islands <laughs> which I, w I feel bad that I'm not contributing as much from sea but thank you to everyone else who's working on it Sounds like a lot of coordination across to get it across three islands. Yes. <laughs> Front row. My first job, this is Rhett, my first job that I was kind of conscripted into was cleaning the cages in my parents' uh, veterinary hospital. Um, but oh. my first job that I was actually hired for was doing field work for a wildlife ecology professor I had in Southern Africa. Oh, cool. Very oh. cool. And then uh, if I weren't here right now, I would probably be trying to find a film gig where working as a camera assistant for a larger production uh, with some kind of nature documentary. Cool. Chris, did you go? I didn't. Um, this is Christopher. Uh, my first real job was in the paint department at Sears. I would try to upsell everybody on paint so I could get an extra 50 cents on my yes. paycheck. Oh man. When I was making <laughs> 525 an hour minimum wage. I remember those days. All about the upsell. There there were some very interesting characters that worked at Sears. Oh yep, I always had to upsell the uh, the discount card for the store. Yep. Kind of hated doing that. Yep. Our single powerful sponge there. Yeah. So if I wasn't here, I would be uh, enjoying my first day of April vacation as a middle school science teacher. That is a very large bamboo whip. Yeah, that's yeah long. that spring what's break is always badly keep needed. Moving. Yeah, we can keep moving, but what's the... This is the optimal heading that they want to be on? Oh my goodness, can yep. we 280. peek down? Are they heading? Yes. Oh no, for for the ship. Yes, 240. Oh, sorry, I'm going to go off this field. Okay. Is this another one of those sponges that we saw before Chris came on. Yeah, and it's, it's got another yeah, basket star on it. Those lung-shaped fish uh, sponges. Fishes. Why am I calling sponge fish? <laughs> I think I'm tired. I'll feel it later. This is really interesting morphology here. 
And this is all still hyaloclastite, right? It looks yellowy. Yeah. I think so. I thought I was seeing some basalt. I know earlier stuff, there were some flows. Yeah. I think. I don't know. This kind of reminds me of those hyaloclastite spires yeah. that we saw earlier in the cruise. Yeah. You see that the rock over on the right there? Yeah. It's all like banded. Uh, another more yeah. shapes there, please. Maybe some sed structures in there. Uh, some sedimentary stuff, perhaps. This is a. This is incredible. Jess, could we could we pan right briefly? We don't have to stop. Here's a something here yeah. too, by the way, fish wise. We don't need to look, but I'm just pointing it out. Thank you. Yeah, there might be some weak sedimentary structures in that. Do you want to zoom on anything in these in these structures here? Yeah, Is let's do a quick zoom. All right, I'll drop down a bit. Do a little drive-by geology. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm laughing because there's all this biology, but yeah, there's so like, yeah, much the biology, <laughs> but there's so much of everything right here. Yeah, we're we're here for geology. I'm glad. That is one of the objectives of this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, right. You want to do a partial zoom there? That should be good. I'm just gonna try to pull over this feature. If that's oh okay. yeah, that's definitely hyaloclastite still. Yeah, there's a big old pile of it. Okay. Is this what you want to see? Yeah, I think so. This grain size, it's kind of hard to see said structures, but we're seeing maybe maybe a little bit of organization there. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay. Pull right, right, please. Thanks. I'm happy. So why are the cliff faces not yellow also? Um, the sides are grayish. We're kind of evaluating on the fly here. Uh, some of that looks like manganese coating. I don't know if it's a true lithologic change. I'm actually surprised that the manganese crust is kind of thin here that we can actually see through it like this. It's been so thick in other places. How thick were the samples that you Black got from yesterday? Um, so those aren't necessarily representative, I'll be clear, uh, of what we were seeing, what I think we were seeing most of the dive, but um, the ones that we were actually able to uh, like, like pick up with the ROV that weren't just like totally welded down. Mm, about five centimeters, uh, slightly thinner on, on some places. Still pretty but they, thick. They were quite thick and that tells us uh, just the thickness of the manganese crust alone tells us that uh, we were looking at some quite old rocks yesterday. Some of them surprisingly well preserved. Like mm. I, I'm, I'm thrilled with what we got. I've been circling a couple what I think are black corals, but just kind of on the fly. But they were kind of big and fanny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is too much going on here. Oh, I am not taking star. it all in. Is that what that was? I was just trying oh, to... Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's oh, what, we're, what oh. Lilo's looking at there. That is huge. There was something below us, too, but <laughs> I didn't that's see that. it very well. That is star? just like completely covering the thing it's sitting on. Chunky. That is a sea star. It is a chonker. It is full, full feast mode right now. Yeah, we've seen a beast couple of mode. really mode. <laughs> it's oh better God. than beast mode. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do a quick zoom here, please, Rick. You stay in feast mode long enough, you turn into beast mode. Wow. I just turn into sleep mode. <laughs> Fair enough. You too. Come partial wide, please. Get myself yeah, stable. So we are getting closer to the very general summit area on this dive as we head up. So maybe that's some yeah, of what we're in. seeing here. Oh, there's a cup coral. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a little guy. We only ever see them when we zoom in for somebody else. Right. Yeah. Eva Pusoma, maybe, on this sea star. Yeah, this is an interesting... Um, Compared to some of the other seamounts that we've been diving on, uh, both Argonaut and Nuka, where we are right now, um, they're, they're not the same. Okay. Uh, so we've been diving in a lot of these uh, guillos, which are these uh, large, flat-topped uh, volcanoes. And this one is Rat. more sort of, sort of conical-shaped. It doesn't have a really well-developed uh, flat top and steep sides. Um, you can see you can see some rift zones on it and uh, a bunch of little like nubs kind of scattered around it that might um, 
I'd have to ground truth it to be 100% sure, but it's it's entirely possible that those are some really late stage little little eruptions uh, that kind of form these little uh, like cool cinder shot. cone kind of things or undersea equivalents uh, on the flanks of the volcano. Correct. I think that fish we saw is a mercuriod of some sort. A while, a while ago. Next move on bearing two nine zero. Thirty meters. Yeah, just north of it is Argonaut Seamount, which looks like it's more or less just one kind of north-south trending rift that we traveled a decent portion of uh, a couple of dives ago. So I don't know what the connection is or isn't between these two seamounts being located so close to each other and having a different. No, morphology. I said thirty this time, but then yeah, next move I'll make it fifty, then we'll reduce to thirty again, okay. or we may, we may continue thirty thirty all the way until we reach 0.7. Roger. Val, do you think these kind of large ridges are here erosionally, or are they boulders, like giant boulders that kind of settled out, or are they more like channelized, like erosion? I, uh, I don't know. They might. I think they might be like erosional or structural features. It's really hard to say. It's one of these things where it kind of helps to like get get your face all up in the rock. Mm -hmm. Kind of like walk around and ground truth it a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's. We saw something similar in one of the other volcanoes, and I'm forgetting which exactly dive that was, but um, it, they look like they've been sculpted, right? So yeah. to me, it, it looks like there is some sort of erosional component involved. I swear we could spend an entire dive just in this little area that we've been passing through. Easily. So, yeah, I wonder if we are in the summit area. Well, obviously we are. It's just like summit vent area is what I'm being, what I should be more specifically saying. Look how steep that is to our right. Yeah. Totally channelized out. Yeah. So the last time I was involved in dives on submarine volcanoes, they were still active. So um, like the summit regions look quite different on those because you still have like active hydrothermal systems and stuff. Um, they were also a lot smaller, so pretty different in a number of ways. So. Um, yeah, some of this, some of these features are first for me, and I'm doing the best I can with some uh, some field observations here. It's it's fascinating. And like you were telling me before, you're only seeing such a small little piece of the bigger picture. Yeah, that too. What's in our flashlight? Mm -hmm. It's it's that old metaphor about you know being in the uh, being in the pitch black room and uh, with an elephant, but or, you know, uh, I guess the, the blind man trying to get a sense of the elephant in the room. And, uh, you know, your interpretation of that depends on, you know, what, what sort of details you can pick up. So, you know, you, you, might, you, might be, uh, you might be getting your information about, like, the tail or the trunk, but you may not be able to take in um, all the information about the rest of the elephant. So you're just going to make interpretations based on that little, those little bits and pieces of information that you have. That's, That's exactly what we're doing here. Yeah, I see it. Black coral here. Oh yeah, it's that same kind of fuzzy coral. A little bit more. Now. Yeah. It's the same thing that we're doing with the mantle geochemistry portion of this project too. These volcanoes are just uh, teeny little probes into the gigantic elephant that we can't see that is the Earth's mantle. It's little little probes into it, and we're we're trying to extrapolate um, from having those little probes all over the ocean floors, through space, through time. It's a lot to synthesize, and our picture will never be complete. But we're going to do the best we can. It's amazing seeing so many fish with so little oxygen because they uh, need a lot more than the corals do. Let's keep it 30. Yep. Oxygen is below 15 micromoles per liter. 
right now. Yeah, significant. What even is this landscape? And this is wild. We've shifted over from halosaurs to a couple macurids. Although, let me see, is that one? Is that one of those bulbous heady ones again? I think so. I can't remember what those are called. The really dark colored ones? Yeah. yeah. Ones we, we were told on an earlier dive once, and I think it started with a C. Wasn't it hey, a so Would you mind doing a DVL reset again, please? Probably had it in the guide somewhere. Mm, I don't. Maybe not. Yeah. I don't think it's in that one. Mm -mm. I guess I can pull that up. Thank you. So Val, when rocks get that ferromanganese crust on them, does it preserve the rock that's on the inside? It might if it's dense enough. I, I suspect it does help in some cases. Uh, also, if it's growing fast enough. But there are other times we cut open some of these that have you know pretty thick manganese crusts on them, and. Uh, um, uh, the rocks have undergone a significant amount of alteration, so um, there are other factors involved too with that, like how vesiculated the samples are, what kind of uh, secondary fluid and seawater infiltration they may have seen, um, how well crystallized they are in some cases. So like stuff, stuff that's really glassy or extremely fine uh, crystals, sometimes that'll, uh, that'll alter, particularly in the case of glass, um, it'll alter much, much faster. Sea star. So this is starting to look like lava sitting on top of uh, what still appears yeah. to be hyaloclastite. How did that happen? I know. Maybe it broke, eroded later on. It looks like it's on top of it, though. So mm -hmm. if um, if if uh, we're looking at superimposed lavas, this. This could be a lava flow that potentially post-seeded the hyaloclastite deposit. That might actually be worth grabbing something. Sure. Do you guys uh, want one, or should we just observe? Yes. I think I want a lava here. So okay. if we Bridge, find something... this is nav. Hold position, please. Uh, what do we have open again there, Leela? Um, we Thank have you. a spot Thanks, open Lohan. in C and D. Yeah, so we're going to go a little smaller. OK. CD, Raj. Yeah. Oh, that's really close to that coral. I don't. That might be an okay size. We might have some better luck down here if that's in our range. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Yeah. So we're since we're kind of looking at things as we go here. Sometimes uh, we make pretty quick decisions about what to grab. And this is an interesting association of what looks like lava and what looks like uh, very torn up, broken up lava. So sorry. So change my heading around here as we get a good shot. Um, no worries. Anything in front of us look good? Um, I think a lot of those actually look really good. Yeah. Um, awesome. So right about where the lasers just were, uh, this pile, I think if we find something uh, you know, around 10 to 15 centimeters, that would be that would be perfect. Great. Those are all very angular, too. I like these rocks. My friend wants a rock. This rock in front of us looks kind of reddish, right? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, it looks like it might be lightly manganese-coated hyaloclastite still. Mm. And those hyaloclastites can sometimes have a, like a reddish tinge to them. It could have been our lighting, too. Yeah, sometimes they end up like this deep red brown instead of a yellowish color. Let's send you down to the starboard bile, yeah? Yes. Gotcha. It's rock o'clock. Um, oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Um, hang on, I'm looking around. Roger. Yeah, right next to that. Uh, I don't know if that's grabbable. Is that far away? Uh, maybe. Okay. That'd be good. This one here? Yeah. It just may be barely out of reach, military. Okay. Oh, I oh still got spotted. Check yeah. the forest tonight. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, go ahead and push on in there, please. I think that'll fit in the bio box. It's a little long, but I think it's a... Uh, Got a tighter zoom? Great. I think we'll be able to put it down. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is a nice rock. Very angular. Very angular. Not a potato. Definitely a carrot. There are no angular carrots. You could use it like a doorstop. <laughs> you could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want a sample salvo? Uh, no, you want to change around the, yeah, you know. But do you also want sample salvo? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it now. Garage. Oh, why did it do that? We had a okay. biology question. Sorry, one sec. Leela, uh, what yes. was the one we want to go in for again? Um, let's go for go C. C, coming out. Yep. C, Raj. Do we have anything in D? Nothing in D. Could do D if that was easier. C is a, has a good visual. This one we know will sink if we want to collect any corals. Okay, sure. Do you guys mind if I put in D? Go for it. Works for me. Nice. Not the prettiest, but that's there. Cool. Coming in? Yep. Raj. That'll be an interesting one to cut open. Indeed. They all have been so far, to be honest. Ready for dive? Yeah, go ahead. Raj. All right. <laughs> that's so strange. Yeah, it's so, it's funky. Yeah, this is a really cool area. All right, I'll get you squared up, then we'll do a swap. Raj. Interesting little geological contact there. What's that in the background? Is that a coral or a big sponge? Coral, I believe. Coral. It looks fanny. I have you on full joy gain. It's pretty currenty. Okay. Um, are you okay on ballast? Oh yeah, the okay. Z-Vice is awesome. It's just uh, there's a lot of current here. Gotcha. Yeah. So we're like full, full on our joy oh, gains. No. <laughs> so all right, switch over. So the bio question we had was, uh, is there any benefit for the corals living in a big community as opposed to just being a one-off? I don't know, what are... It might just be, my, well, I'd love to hear from our experts, but I will just throw out there that I imagine they're also more dense <laughs> in areas that are just really good <laughs> feeding grounds. but maybe there's something more to it. You are our savior, Jess. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> oh, it's also snack o'clock. Thank you. Ooh, good stuff. It's one of my favorites. All right. Two nine. Ooh, I'm loud. Two nine zero. How do I unhear myself? Oh my god. Don't wink. Is that a purple crinoid kind of hanging on the bottom of our left side of screen? Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah looks like it. Hello. It's like I'm whispering in my own ear, and I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's just adjust that I think it's just where it has to adjust the audio levels per person. Hello? Right. Oh, okay. I turned the I volume down overall and it's better. I already swapped you guys, so it 
it should be good on the general settings. What do you mean you swapped us? I keep um, Jess at plus six and I keep you at negative three. Just Rude. based on where you keep your headsets <laughs> and your voice levels and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to, to reveal that. It's, it's just a headset placement thing. Well, we yeah. left our headsets where they were. Well, we it's, it's also your voice levels, but... <laughs> Keep and, that your mind for next time. and your adjustment preferences. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, uh, Suleiman, you said Suleiman, you said two nine zero. Yes, eight zero? yes, I did. Okay, ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. Chris just okay. asked if we could zoom come? a crinoid. Chris, which crinoid? The one that's Stand right by. at the bottom of our screen. Uh, Do you mean this one oh, right here? Oh yeah, bottom, bottom left. left is a dark oh, one. Oh, bottom. What did I say? Let's get to the end of the shift. Sorry, say that again. Bottom left crinoid. Bottom left. Zoom. Crinoid, Raj. Thanks. It's up. I see it. I'm assuming that's the it's one he like means. Get up, back up, look down. You can probably just look do down. It. Yeah. I'll turn on the porch a bit so you can get some more light. Video zoom. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It is quite a current. Yeah, things just letting its hair blow so majestically in the wind. I, this I is like me on the monkey deck. So I, I feel like that you. crinoid. Good on the crinoid. I think yeah, so. I think yeah, that's good. Raj, uh, come wide. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. So my chocolate is telling me don't talk about it, just be about it. I think we're doing an okay job of that. Oh no, we are constantly <laughs> talking about <laughs> that too. <laughs> But we're very about it also. <laughs> well, we had a question about uh, on dives where you're exploring old volcanic activity, do you ever come across unexpected active volcanic regions? Um, okay. For plume stuff like this, right. no? I'm at, I'm at the head. Well, my head's kind of wavering around right now. I think I'm getting. A little bit of a pull, but if you want to start making your way, we'll make call on that ship move. Tell me again one more time what heading. That's what I thought. Okay, Raj. I just I thought I also heard two four five, and then I got confused. Oh, Raj. And then I'm gonna adjust your your, your uh, pan and tilt because it keeps on creeping to the left. I can do it. Raj. Good. Yeah, very murky up here in this current. 290. Okay, so to answer that question, um, I'm not aware of any instances of unexpected... Uh, See what I mean? It's like creeps in again. Yeah. It's just it's just when the pan left. So I always like go far overshoot left now and then go right so that... Bump it right. Yeah, so that it doesn't, uh, you know, overshoot. You want to come a little wide on Atlanta, please? Thanks. Does the question ask specifically active or just like yeah, young? Yeah, like when you're exploring something that you think is a passive volcano or a dormant volcano, do you ever find that it's active? Um, I'm not aware of that ever happening on old volcanoes like this. Um, like we're pretty far away from uh, any anything that could. Is strong. Uh, yeah. I didn't uh, move any of that. Generate <laughs> lava. Yeah. So Current in this strong case, down here. yeah, it is really strong down here. So in this case, no. Um, in younger volcanoes that we know are active, uh, that has happened. There's a very famous video from uh, the Mata volcanoes in the northern Lao Basin from 2008, where uh, an ROV cruise was down uh, uh, surveying some of these young active volcanoes. And uh, they actually came across one of them actively erupting and captured some extremely rare footage of a submarine eruption. Cool. Yeah. So sometimes you go on active volcanoes and they're unexpectedly erupting because it's it's actually uh, difficult to try to capture one of those uh, in a uh, submarine eruption while it's happening. Just it's not very probable to be able to get both the ship time and the right kind of activity happening <laughs> at the same it, it, when when they have a chance of intersecting. Uh, we tried to do that in the same place in 2017, and uh, 
Unfortunately, no volcanic activity was going at the time, but we were able to map uh, some changes to those volcanoes that were the result of eruptions between 2008 and a couple of other years and uh, when we were out there in 2017. So we could see the changes. We just didn't see them as they were happening. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, really rare to catch anything that's erupting uh, uh, with ROV cruises. Really hard to do. It'd be really cool, though. Kylie, can I take your bubble? Yes. Somebody asked what a sample salvo means. Maybe Rhett can talk to this one. Um, so, with the way the video feeds work, we can change them individually, as in, you know, we want this camera to go to that destination. Uh, but there are certain practices which we already know where we want each camera to go, and we want to change a lot of them at the same time. Uh, so, for example, um, diving has a salvo and sampling has a salvo uh, that, you know, each meet the unique needs of those two conditions. Uh, so when we're switching from just the regular diving uh, practice to trying to collect a sample, we will hit the dive salvo uh, button and that will go ahead and change all of our camera feeds over to uh, the correct uh, routes for that situation. Salvo just means group of uh, camera uh, to uh, monitor um, orientations. Can you guys see these right here? I was trying to figure out those. All three of them. Those look like like sea stars, I think. Yeah, more than more anything. than crinoids. But yeah, I was just like, is the current so strong? They're just like <laughs> totally, yeah, totally lay down flat. flat. <laughs> <laughs> but there's four of them. Here's another one. Yeah, there are ton. Video zoom. Yeah. Ah, Wait, that's hard that? to tell actually. Maybe yeah, they, they are look crinoids. More like crinoids. Bearing two nine zero yeah. thirty meters. Yeah, I think you're right. Yes, please. The just laid They're out just flat. Flatten out more. Yeah. Thanks for the no problem. look there. Come on. I have a question for the pilots about why we only use the one craft predator arm and not the the other one. We use the Magnum. Just uh, depends on what the ops are. What it has it? different things it's good at. It doesn't have, you can't move all the joints at once. You have to move the wrist up, the elbow up, the shoulder down. Um, and sometimes we'll use it to hold something for the craft arm, for the right side arm. Um, like the hydrate sampling? Yeah, exactly, like the hydrate sampling. We'll put the hydrate sampler in the magnum left hand um, hold it up against a rock, and it requires the right hand to like tw drill, like twist, like grab the handle, and then spin the wrist like a drill, um, so that it can kind of penetrate the hydrate um, and like corkscrew uh, a bit of sample. So it just depends on the ops. That was some intense sampling. Especially yeah. when we tried to sample the hydrate on the wall, and it was like, all right, now stay flying in midair and also do this delicate sampling for 45 minutes. Right, like oh, in wow. the, into a cliff corner where your <laughs> arms don't want to like inter interact together. Yeah. And um, and can you imagine like a nail ahead, like a nail, the point of a nail like slipping off of something like really slick? It just kept slipping. Yeah, um, that was tough. Yeah. It's also like to get the pressure and the leverage to start corkscrewing in. Yeah. And it, so the two pilots were uh, like doing it together, like in tandem. That sounds cool. like something you need a five minute break after. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> that's really intense. Oh my God. It was cool though. That yeah. would be. Very I don't cool. know if I've ever seen a methane hydrate in person. Oh, let me show you a picture. Please do. <laughs> Looks like a snowbank. They're yeah. pretty cool. So Val, somebody saw in your bio that you like gluten-free baking, and they recommended gluten-free on a shoestring.com as a good 
That is an excellent website. Sure I've used a few of their recipes, and they've uh, got that pretty uh, nailed down. Suddenly we are back in the land of lava flow. This is really weird terrain over here. Lava flow land. Oh, Kylie, so Chris Kelly was asking, is the craft a seven function arm, yes. whereas the other one is only a three or a five? Hmm. No, the craft is a seven and the, and the, um, the uh, magnum is a seven function. So the elbow, shoulder, elbow, wrist, uh, jaw, jaw spin, five? I think I thought it was a seven. It's seven function. Seven, yeah. This is hydrate. Oh, wow. It's like a big icy chunk here. And you can see the methane gas bubbling out too. Yeah. The destabilized and this is still stable. It does look really tricky to sample. Does it kind of, is it kind of like ice? Yeah, it's kind of like ice, okay. exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ice is a good sides. way to describe it. Yup. Okay, yeah, so pretty similar physical Ooh, properties. And, whoa. Oh, hi. Hey. Hi, guy. Is he missing part of his tail? Maybe. No. Okay, that's just the fin on the end. Yeah. Okay, more distinct pillow lava morphology suddenly here. I wonder what it is that makes fish not swim like in a typical vertical way. I think it has to do with like a swim bladder or something. Or they just passed by the thruster and are disoriented. Or that, yeah. Sure. What is this? Is that a black coral? Or am I, no. Now that, I'm like, it's hydrate. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's what it looks like. <laughs> oh, that? Yeah, the white stuff. <laughs> nice little tucked away sponge. I figured that might have been a sponge. Yes, it's it a is, sponge. but that's what hydrate looks like <laughs> when you're looking I'm for seeing. it. Uh -huh. Oh no, it's the elusive cave sponge. <laughs> that's what they would ask us to sample. Hey, can you sample that under there? Oh, we'll call for oh, With both hands and some massive contraption. Praise, this is Nav. Another move, same step, please but only on the clean part of the hydrate. <laughs> what part is that? Very challenging sampling from the sounds of it. It's really cool though when, there's, when you have a challenging sample. Yeah, When you it get is. it done, you're like. It's okay. so satisfying. Yes. And yeah. some Herc Argus teamwork. Yeah. I don't know what you're pointing at. The starboard bin was gonna hit her up the wall. We've got another five hours or so left before our ROVs are on the surface. What's the, Suleman, can you zoom out a bit on high pack there? Sure. So to nine and then that's, that, that's the end of the dive, right? Yeah, eight yes. o'clock our time. Awesome. Looks like we have a lot of time, which is good. <laughs> so our ascent time is not going to be quite as long, because we only have to go from 900 meters Thanks, to the surface. It's been a fishy dive. Oh, There's wow. There's another one over there. Hey, thanks for sharing that, Steve. Yeah, that's cool. Which which predation event was this? Uh, 2030 UTC, about 1450 meters. Very cool, thank you. Where did Come you on. get that? The um, Steve posted a uh, screenshot of a uh, tweet Oh, I see the, the chat there, 2030 UTC, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we should go back to that footage. Yeah. Maybe for Was um, that the really big one that we saw? I don't know. Um, oh, we got a picture UTC. from Steve. That was a while ago, so we should. Oh, it's this one. Oh, yeah. I think that might have been the previous watch. Yeah, we should see if we can file that as a highlight, maybe. Yeah. Is there any way to do a retroactive highlight, um, Christopher? I guess, yeah, we can, we can change the time. I'll change the time on that. 
2030 UTC. What did you want to highlight? This uh, one right here. I, I got it. No worries. Oh, got it. okay. It's a big base on this little coral. <laughs> If you go back, then you'll. Nice. Oh my gosh. Friend. Get out. Nice. I think Chris Get is going to help us ID some of these. I think they're Mercurids, but that's as far as I'm willing to go. I nice. could be wrong. Saved us all. How's the current still pushing you around a bit? Yeah. Raj? I'm laddering, lateraling right just to stay center. Roger that. That is a big mushroom coral. Oh, yeah. It, is it a mushroom coral? It yeah. is. Oh, is, is that a pumice? I think that's a pumice. Where? Uh, once we zoom back out, you'll see it. It's on the far left. Come on. Where's the pumice? I oh, believe is that, that it? is a pumice. Yeah, we don't need oh, to grab yeah. it or anything. But uh, that is probably part of the same pumice raft that uh, we picked one up for yesterday and that we've seen in a few other places. Well, one or two at Raj. least. Continue the move. Praise, this is now another move. Same step, please. Do we want to zoom on that at all or no? Uh, nah, I, think we're, I think we're okay. Okay. So some of the viewers wanted to know what starfish we were talking about. Um, it is, it was around 2030 UTC time and it was uh, like a many armed sea star, possibly a, um, an Asthenactus sea star and it was sitting on top of this pink hemichoralium and it it was it looked like it, it was predating we couldn't tell if it was on the coral itself or on one of the ophiroid sea stars um ophiroid stars that was below it looks like there's a big sponge to your immediately to your left there Ooh, yeah that might be fun to take a look at so yeah that predation event was about or four sediment hours. patch <laughs> sorry oh you're good about four hours and 40 minutes ago In the dive. Oh, so are these nodules? Ah, uh, this looks like a nodule field. Nodules for days. With some sea pens thrown in for <laughs> I fun. Think so, solid, solid sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Womp. Whoa. A lot of sediment sponge. Crinoids there. Yeah. It reflected like it was a sponge. Really did. Yeah. What's that white one? The one to the right? Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, sorry, not the right, the left. Uh, Raj. <laughs> I've been doing that. Uh, it's the last hour of watch. <laughs> <laughs> Video zoom. Mm, oh, that's no a thing. Yeah, probably so. Hope that poor thing doesn't get too much bigger or else it's going to be knocking that rock over. Yeah. Yeah. Literally getting blown over. It's yeah. already got all the weight of that serpent star. Mm -hmm. That's okay, good. Fine. Thank you. I gotta go. <sighs> There's a sea star upper left. Mm -hmm. Big one. Um, could, and then after this, could we zoom on one of the unbranched things that we were calling a sea pen? Yeah. 
Thank you. Is this East Tire? What's that? Sea Star. Yeah. Video zoom. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Right. I got to get ahead and then I'll find a different one. Okay. Okay. Looks like there's one a couple of meters I up. I think so, yeah, but. Maybe even a one further ahead than that. Yeah. Seems like there were yeah. multiple. So it was one way you approach these tighter contours and we'll have you stay like as far out as possible. Okay. Yeah, for the viewers it's about to get steep in the next few minutes. So we'll see another change of terrain pretty pretty rapidly would be my guess. Yeah. Look at the hold fast. That's, that's very large there. Yeah. It's ready for some current. Yeah. Somebody asked if the white, white patches on the ground were um, sand or if they're fibrous or something. Those um, are sand patches, I think. Sediment, right? Yeah, it looks like a really fine sediment. We, we get that stuff uh, uh, up on board sometimes with some of the samples. It's uh, It's very fine-grained and very goopy, kind of feels like a very wet clay. Although there's probably some other stuff besides just clay in it. <laughs> Little fish bopping into the Atalanta cam. Oh yeah. Just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Again, upside down. Yeah, we're starting to see some of the uh, scouring that's polishing the uh, uh, corners of some of these manganese crusts on these bigger rocks here. So, uh, consistent with uh, current just generally being rather Keep high around here. Yeah. This is now another step, same move. I think that's a metallogorgia. Fish in the upper yeah, right. I think you're right. Looks like it does not have a halosaur head, but I can't see it very well. I don't know if we've seen a halosaur in a while. Now it's kind of shifted over to Macurids, different different yeah. ones. Okay, I would say that we're about to about to hit the slopes. That was very abrupt. That uh, coral with the big hold fast, Chris is calling a Caligorgia. Yeah, one of the primnoids. Uh, we've got a question about um, why the nodules are a different color. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, some of it could be that uh, we're still looking at some high alloclastite, like just little pieces of it that's been all kind of broken up a second time. Um, so it could be a combination of some sort of nodules and uh, uh, high alloclastite rubble. I was kind of looking at that too. Video zoom. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. Come wide. So I think we're still looking at We've been kind of traveling across that uh, hyaloclastite pile, and then we've had that lava f uh, lava flow or set of lava flows um, kind of capping it, but it's not completely capping it either. It's an interesting area geologically, but um, we definitely don't you have to push out, out a bit yet. more there, Kylie. I still find it interesting that uh, the hyaloclastite here is not as good a nucleation point for the ferromanganese crusts as the lavas are. And I think we saw some of that with uh, one of yesterday's samples because uh, Justin and I cut, were cutting stuff open this morning and uh, we one of the samples we did cut open from the deep dive was, I think it was the deep, no, it was a different dive, sorry. Um, a very green hyaloclastite from one of the other dives. And uh, that one had a very, very thin
manganese uh, crust on it. Like, basically just a thin coat. But not all of those are poor nucleators either. We've had some, uh, we've had some pretty, pretty crusty uh, potatoes that had definitely have hyaloclastite in them, but also a, a thicker manganese rind. There's some crust for you. Yeah, nice and polished. Another purple crinoid. Mm -hmm. And another way over on the right by the. Oh yeah, there are lots. Swift. A couple of them. Yeah. I think that's a plexorid. A sword. Okay. Those are the ones I'm still trying to learn. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not good with those either. And that's a ribbon demo sponge, Chris says. Huh. Pasolastra. I feel like I should have a harness and a rope. <laughs> Steep. Mm. Looks like a little urchin on the far right, maybe. Keep moving. Approach this is enough. Another Ramu, same step. So, in, in case you um, missed it, on Thursday, um, our science team ashore was helping us and at the same time listening to a webinar on uh, deep sea mining and fisheries and corals uh, by Dr. Jeff Drazen. And um, if you type in ONMS, which is Office of National Marine Sanctuaries, and webinar, you will come to a page that uh, highlights all the different webinars that we've offered uh, over the last couple of years on a variety of topics within the National Marine Sanctuary System. And uh, if you click on the little archive uh, hyperlink on the right of that screen, you can see all of the past ones, including Dr. Drazen's and also Dr. Beth Orcutt's. She did hers uh, just a month ago, I think it was, before this, well, maybe it was two. But there are several really great um, hour-long webinars on deep ocean exploration. If you're a teacher, um, or just somebody interested in kind of organizing information that way. There is a, a great collaborative website called deepoceaneducation.org. And there you can find uh, great resources in a really easy searchable format um, for exploration that has happened with the uh, OET, with uh, Evie Nautilus, also with uh, NOAA's Okeanos. Uh, Research Vessel Okeanos, and then the Schmidt Ocean Institute's RV Falcor. Uh, really cool site, and you can um, create an account and curate different um, videos and lessons and other things, and then share those with your colleagues or with your students. Of course, the uh, nautiluslive.org webpage under the Education tab also has really great materials. One thing I like about the deepoceaneducation.org is that it, if you scroll to the bottom of the home page, it tells you what each ship is doing right now. And then you can link into their specific websites. So we are making our way up to waypoint number seven, up a pretty steep slope. Yeah, 
uh, I think we're just some head kind. on a sponge. Yeah. Interesting uh, perspective on that one. Polishing here and there, so we're still definitely in the current. I think our pilots will uh, agree with that. <laughs> huh. How does it feel right now, Kylie? Does it has it gone down a bit? A the little. Currents. Yeah, it's still pushing though. It's trying to get up this pretty steep wall of lavas, and uh, we're looking at a lot of ferromanganese encrustation. Pretty locked in there. Yeah. But I'm still seeing a little bit of uh, sedimentation in some of the crevices here where sediment is able to be trapped, and it still looks a little bit like pieces of some hyaloclastite coming from somewhere. So. Yeah, it makes me really excited to see the top. <laughs> yeah. It's again. Not sure what to expect, but uh, it's guaranteed to be interesting. So one other thing I, of course, should have mentioned is that the uh, Ocean Exploration Trust team is both here on uh, the ship and ashore are pumping out some really amazing highlight Ooh, videos. That? I think it's a Calyptrophora from Noid. Hey, right. <clears throat> Do you mind? Oh, sorry. On one, one, one. Oh, pretty. I'll keep moving. Okay. Press this is nav. Uh, another move, same step. So if you're uh, not already at nautiluslive.org, you can pop over there and then click on the gallery and scroll down, and you'll see some of the cool, most recent highlights. There's some really neat ones. I haven't been able to watch the videos, uh, but I am really looking forward to seeing the, uh, uh, what is it, the, uh, the the yawning fish video. Oh yeah, the Chana Cops. Chana Cops, yawning, thank Chana you. Cops. That one is up, I, I yeah. think it's been a couple of days. I got the push notification for it, but um, I'll have to catch up on the videos once we're uh, back on shore. Yeah, so we don't steal all the bandwidth from the ship. <laughs> I, I'm trying to be nice about that. <laughs> Back row, I'm going to steal your Argus for a few minutes. Okay. Or I have stolen your Argus. Mm -hmm. It'll be a few minutes. <laughs> no problem. I do not mind winch view one bit. <laughs> right or that. Little fish on the upper left, just fading out of screen. Sea stars. A couple of sea stars. Looks like we have two different species there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Where's the second one? I'm just seeing the white one. Uh, oh, no, it's just white center, right? white, right? We got two oh, here. Oh, over there. So we actually okay. have three. Oh, yeah. Little guy right up beneath that. Yeah. Thanks. At least two species there, it looks like, just based off morphology. Yeah. 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 I'm putting together a... Honestly, maybe three. I think you're right. I'm putting together an album of all the sea stars we've been seeing. That'll be really cool. That will be. We've seen so many. Yeah. I could all right, you're right. You can go ahead and switch back that to Argus Cam now. Thank you. That was one of the sure really thing. surprising things about yesterday's dive was when we did some zooms on things, we were seeing these very small, uh, very pale little uh, brittle stars. I guess I just wasn't, well, again, not knowing what to expect, but um, oh, that's a cool nice sponge over there. Can, can we look at that sponge a little? Uh, this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did see a lot of those really tiny little white. Yeah. Wow, look at the inside. Yeah, yeah, it's cool to see it from this yeah. angle. Yeah. We don't usually that get the top view so nicely. Built to trap particles. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that cool. view. Oh, wow. That's an awesome shot. Yeah. Nice job, Kylie. Nice. Great. 
keep going. Does that count as looking down a uh, iridogorgia? <laughs> <laughs> different, so. different kind of point. Different yeah. kind of point. Yeah. It's like a field goal or like a. Or, uh, don't you get one point if you kick? I don't football. Anyway, never mind. Oh, like through the uprights? So. It's like field yeah, goal. But I didn't know what to call that. I think Punch. that's a field goal. Yeah, it's a field goal. Field goal kick. Yeah, three points. <laughs> oh, it's three points. I don't know. Football. Basketball is a three-point line for sure. <laughs> I think it's yeah. two points for safety. Yes. Those are exactly. <laughs> More <laughs> internet will <laughs> definitely correct us. <laughs> Offsides. <laughs> then yeah, one point for a field goal after touchdown. Right. Football's exactly. got a lot of kind of random score rules it to does. it. To be honest, the safety oh, so yeah, is touchdown really strange. I, always I didn't even know safety thing. was a Gosh. thing until I was in college band, uh -huh. and then I had to know what it was. Trombone, trombone. <laughs> do you do a specific like uh, yeah. song for safeties? Uh, it was more like just signaling that we uh -huh. had. Quick zoom. Couple crinoids. Yeah, those purple ones. These guys have been this around a like lot. Orange, this purple, ombre. Right. And, and there's someone, that tube worm case them. in the upper left. Okay, oh, out. yeah. Boogie, boogie, we, boogie. Mm -hmm. I got a boogie. Oh, yeah, we're boogieing. You're good. Just commenting. We collected one. Another one right, right there. Yeah. Yeah. I do want to see its inhabitant. Yeah. Bridge, this is not. What is that little pink Ooh, thing there? Ooh, what's that pink thing? That Another two like nine zero with thirty it? meters. Oh, too late, I think. Uh, uh, we'll keep looking. If we do see any of those scale worms again, I think we should collect. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, Chris was asking about that. You're gonna have to call out because I I have a hard time seeing those. Okay. Sure. We'll do our best. Seeing Maybe. some sea urchins, some yeah. different sea stars. Oh. More shoot. more pebbles. There was something that I just saw, and I did not get a good look at it. All sorts of pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, that roll! Holy moly! I know. Right? I know. It's hard to stay awake. Gotta when engage it's like your abs. Your yeah. <laughs> yeah. My chair has almost fallen over twice. <laughs> Watch your water bottle too. So I think because I'm so tall. So what is this right here? I saw something like that earlier, just a second ago. Is that ago. a shrimp? The shrimp? It must be a shrimp. Oh yeah, the red guy. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. And there's another one near the orangey thing to the bottom of the screen. And a sponge. We yellow haven't seen crinoid. a lot of these yellow crinoids that we usually see a lot of. Yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. So is that white guy? What's that white guy? In the center? Yeah. I don't know. Some kind of. I don't. I don't, can't like tell. Like a from bamboo, here. maybe. It looks. It's kind of short. To me. It does look more primnoid. Okay. Yeah. It's very like Christmas tree. -like. Primnoid. Very sparse branching. <laughs> and that's oh, another. Whoa. From Noid, I think those, well, actually now looking at that one, it looks sort of plumose, like Caligorgia. Video partial zoom? Yeah. Pretty. I think it is. I think I'm starting to merge Betrital and Primnoid. Okay. Come wide. Or uh, Primnoids. Those, uh, <laughs> white or light pink urchins. Go, oh yeah, mm -hmm. go. Yeah, they're showing up fairly consistently. Yeah. Is that a no? Oh, looks like a star or sponge. I think the sponge. Oh yeah, a teeny little sponge. That one crinoid is facing uphill. I guess maybe there's some food sweeping what down. What if I put porch on? Will that? be better for light iris stuff? It might be. Um, okay, porch is coming on. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's got us good. Okay. A Norella, I think. The white one? Yeah. Yeah. So, how Ooh, steep are we right now? That's a weird anthem mass, or a, on the right. What oh. is yeah, that? Yeah, it's a nice coloration. Coral? Yeah. Nice orangey to it. But as it's well. really differently colored. Are we looking at it from top down at this angle? It looks like we might be. Still oh, yeah, though. it is different. Doesn't look like the larger one. 
No, that's a different one. That's the Tahi notice. Okay. But I still the coloration. Yeah. So yeah, we're seeing a lot more of that the hyaloclastic, is that how I say it? Uh, yeah. The yellowy green. It looks kind of like it. But it looks like it's kind of loose here and just it's it's piling up on what seems to be lava. This is weird. Beautiful. What are we at? We're at 1,061 meters. It's one of those guys. I'm pumping it. I mean, be very, uh, very uh, d uh, d uh, specific. <laughs> Somebody's been doing a walk around. <laughs> or is that another one of those stolen friends? I don't uh, know. I can't tell actually. Video partial zoom on that orange guy. Uh, Can you come in tighter? Watch. The, the, the below. Not that one. No, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Pilot's okay. choice. Come on a little. A little I, so I didn't know you were calling for a zoom, and I just like that thing. <laughs> I didn't know that was oh, really good, good timing. No worries. <laughs> Did you want that one? Uh, we we're interested the squiggles in. Squiggles on the rock. Oh, Raj. <laughs> Whatever bio that is. Okay, squiggle on rock zoom. <laughs> yeah, those do look like stolen friends. Yeah, I think it looks like they have polyps retracted. Some of them have them out. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna. Thanks for that. That's fine. Come wide. Perfect. Cool. cool, cool. Shall we keep the wolf? Sure. Yeah. Approach. This is now another wolf. Same step, please. Gonna get up ahead again. Moving up. Little fish. Little fish. Would it? at some point be possible just to kind of pan right and left and just sort of oh orient yeah. see where we're at a little that'd bit? Would that be okay? What do you think, Val? Um, I mean, and of course, pilots. If, if it's safe for Herc to do so, yeah, looking along the contours just, might be cool. Um, just a glimpse. I, I don't know if that's... Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kylie's got some time. Got some time, but cool. just remember... Well, okay, well, let's see what we can do without changing our heading. I would just pan your heading, Kylie. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will, but also that's mega barf cam. Okay. If you ask me. We can just lower your joy gain. Raj. Well, that's a good start, right? Okay, so yeah, there's a little bit of the landscape. Yeah. There's and a lot I'll more going on. I'll center my camera back up, and then yeah. I'll look around. Yeah, that way the light will follow your camera instead of have dark patches. That's fine. We don't want to overdo the barf cam for sure. Uh, it'll be good. I don't know what those are. If they're holdfasts or if they're some of those worms. I thought it was cooler to the yeah, left. Yeah, that's what hard to see. Those are cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. That's a big from nowhere. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's huge. And oh, a big and sponge. A sponge. Hello there. Very nice. Just to remind us that this is actually a pretty dense wall. Yeah. All right. Looks like Thank on you. high pack, we'll start flattening out relatively soon. Thanks for doing that, Kylie. No problem found some cool stuff. Yeah. I just take the creep out of the pan and tilt here. Yeah. I've seen a lot of those crinoids that are the purpley orange just in their full layback. That's very cool from the top there. I think that's another one of those rosellid base sponges. Maybe Bathydorus. Can you zoom a little? A little more? Thanks. Is it a shrimp on top? I think that is a very tiny shrimp. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe one inside too. Oh no. yeah. Not sure. All right, come Something on. Something dark in there. Something, yeah. Uh, 
I gotta go other direction. All right, we're coming down to our last 20 minutes or so oh, wow. of our watch, believe it or not. Look at this biology <laughs> and geology. Working together. Yeah. yeah, it's like a amphitheater of corals here. It really is, isn't it? An amphitheater, that should be another term that we use. Agreed. I think I, I think I just saw a sea pen. Oh, and there's one to the right too, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm gonna booty Maybe. scooch forward and just uh, <laughs> I'm gonna booty scooch booty forward. Scooch forward. <laughs> guess, guess the more pennies in the zoom bank. <sighs> Does that just make it a scooch? <laughs> <laughs> I need a, a sco need a scooch a scooch forward. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, we are really coming up onto this next contour. But what flat. is that? Is that different than anything we've seen? That's oh. a rock pen. different sea pen, it looks like, yeah. Can you zoom? Yeah. Let's get a yeah. look at this one. It's oh, very yeah. deep red. Wow. Do you have any more zoom? The peduncle oh, looks like a... sponge. Do you think it's a rock Ooh. pen or a sea pen? Or like a one that lives in sediment or one that lives on rocks? It looks like it's on a rock, right? I, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Come on. Ooh, it's on a rock. Oh, God. Oh, that's a pretty shot, though. Yeah, it is. Thanks. Wow. OK, cool. Steve has an Keep idea moving. on that. Yes. Last step. Baltasina. Okay, we did Fresh. see one this of those earlier. Another move, same step. No, it doesn't look super like nodules here. It looks more like a uh, deposition of just rock fragments. Potentially still hyaloclastite, but also lava. Kylie, I'm going to try turning off your porch for a minute yeah. since we're not on those steep slopes oh, no more. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah, that's nice. nice. Okay, this is the last move, and then we will be in the area of waypoint seven. Okay. Okay. On completion, would you like to stay some time over here or head towards waypoint eight? Uh, let's hold for a minute and see what we uh, see what we see up here. Okay. okay. Let's get a star on a white coral. It will be at the end of the watch on top as well. of that? Well, yeah. Know. Sounds like good. Oh yeah. yeah, it does look like barnacles. Or that stolonifera. Maybe. Yeah, that's true, totally. Yeah, the wash change, yeah. Agreed. Okay. Oh yeah, Steve's calling it still in a ferns. Okay. We'll get we'll get like right on top of the waypoint for them or something. All okay. sorts of these uh dark red, like wine red sea pens in this field. Yeah. What's I think that? I'm seeing more anemones Fishy. too. He was saying that it, um Fish. sea pens suggest at least a few centimeters of sediment underneath this yeah. rock. Are sea pens corals? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, hello, double fish. Hey, buddies. So triple fish. Triple fish. One of those was a halosaur. The other two are... Those other fish. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing. That yes. large group of macurids, is that the right? The other science. But I'm, so I'm you've not, been calling them, yeah. I'm not good past that. <laughs> it's better than I am. Uh, I had a question for the <laughs> pilots. Is seasickness when you're driving the ROV really a thing that you deal with? Not not really. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. It depends. Depends on, the depends on the person, yeah. Wow. That's a big coral. Pom pom. Yeah. Uh, can't I think it's Metallicorgia. That is probably a good guess from this I angle. Don't, I don't see the helix. Yeah. What's up, Jess? Video zoom? Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, we have 20 minutes, so we might be able to just start towards waypoint 8 once we get to waypoint 7, but we'll see when we get there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty planar from as we get closer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not really a nodule field. It's more like okay. a debris field. Come on, I'll get out of here. And just to answer what we were talking about earlier, Steve is saying that the sea pen being there suggests that there might be at least a few centimeters of sediment underneath, but it did really look like that one was attached to a pebble of some kind. Ah, cool. Okay. Wow, just got a lot different color. Yeah. So we're just cresting that.
plateau that is waypoint seven. <laughs> this is fish day for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like this morning I was thinking it was like crinoid or brisingid uh dive. That's a big speaking of which yeah. But yeah, this is uh there's been a lot of variation with the stratigraphy and Steve's been commenting on the same I mean, thing I too. I just wanted to do it slow. And an uh, and another one. Yeah. Yeah. And here. Yeah, we're still which yeah, would and dampen my speed. And which there. Was, was <laughs> what, like that's why I left I think it we on. found where the fish hang out. Yeah, seriously. Most of those look like those bigger headed mercurials. That one on our bottom looks more like a halosaur. Huh. Steve says the Baltacena are not known to be rock pens, so if we think it's hard attached, that would be interesting. Okay, we can try and look if we see another one of those sea yeah. pens. Do we need to poke the ground? Uh, nope, we just need to see where it's attached. Okay. Sorry, what are you guys saying? Um, are, if you panned left, or is there another one of those sea pens somewhere? The red ones? That we were trying to see what they were attached to. Oh, right in front of us. Yeah, I was going to say, was, was that one there? Yeah. Okay. If we could just see if it's in the sediment or on a rock. They're, those fish are very curious about us. Yeah. Get out it's of so here. interesting to see these fish here because the oxygen level is the lowest we've seen all day. It's like 13 micromoles per liter. 3.2% uh, oxygen saturation. Yeah. How, how do they breathe? And, I mean, they're moving pretty quickly. It's not like they're really lethargic. And a fish. I think these are the lowest oxygen levels we've seen on any dive so far, but it's also the shallowest we've been. Yeah, we're, we're right like in the oxygen minimum, minimum yeah, zone. Yeah, 1043 meters down right now. A lot. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so. What, so, C pen. Yes. Bottom center. Yes. I just want to see the bottom of it, what it's attached to. Okay. And video zoom. If it is attached to a rock, then it might be a collection. That one's really hard to tell. Oh yeah, yeah that is like really hard to tell. That looks like so. sediment. It looked like sediment. The brief. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I had. Yeah, we can check the other zoom from earlier too at some point. Video zoom. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like that's so hard to tell. It's right. I well, think it's between it like two rocks. On a rock. tiny pebble. It's on a pebble. You think? Yeah, but if it, it was on a pebble, like it'd be, on a that pebble. wouldn't be enough. It looks to like hold it's it between up. these two. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. True. That's Maybe hard to right. tell. It, it is really hard so to tell. So for the for the sea pens, do they yeah. go straight into the sediment, and then they don't they go straight in, and then they yeah. have an anchor? They would go straight in. I think. So like this one is branched on the top, which means that it needs surface area to stay attached. Yeah. Which right. makes you think it's a rock pen. Okay. I don't know. Sign is a short yeah. better. Um, give us a minute here. Steve's typing. You wanna stop? stop the he ship. says he thinks it's between the rocks. Yeah, maybe stop, stop the, ship. the ship. Yes, yeah. I did. Could we look okay. at a, another one? Maybe there I was did. one off we just the ran left. out of the. Did we just run out of the step, or did you stop it? No, we ran out of the step. Yeah, that's it. Remember, there was like the last step. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Raj. <laughs> Cool. Uh, they want to look out for one more rock or one more of the pens. Go find another one. Yeah, yeah just okay, to see if on. we can see the attachment point on another one. Um, looking around. Ah, here is I think another one. Yeah. What? That's a fish. And a fish. Okay, yeah, yep. there are a couple there's right there. More. Yeah, another one there. Nice. The oh. bigger one and the smaller one. I wonder uh, if there's a lot of like... How about the one right in front of us? Raj. Take a look at that. I wonder uh. if this is just a habitat.